recently I placed an order on the Color Rain website. This is a sort of like an indie brand that has been around for a while, but I really wanted to place an order for their matte lip paints. I know that liquid lipsticks have been really popular, so I definitely wanted to pick up a few of these. I really like their color selection, and I had heard such good things about them. I kind of wanted to compare them to the rest of the liquid lipsticks that I have. So I placed an order, and I picked up six of their liquid lipsticks. They are $16.50 each, and usually you can find a 10% off code floating around. They recently restocked quite a few shades on their website so I made sure to place an order when they did. So all the colors I picked up, all six colors, were very neutral. I picked up sort of one nude color, one sort of brown color, as well as two sort of that gray beige color that is really popular right now. And then I have two sort of mauve or like red undertone kind of shades. I was really interested to try quite a few of these shades because they are quite unique. You don't see a lot of lipsticks out in these kind of shades and they are really popular right now so I definitely wanted to make sure to pick them up. Overall the form of these lipsticks is very similar to all other liquid lipsticks out there. They are very liquidy. You go and apply them with the doe fit or maybe even like a lip brush if you decide to do a lip brush and they go on quite liquidy. They almost have that wet look to them but then they dry down instantly and then they don't move at all. I will say though that these liquid lipsticks are probably one of my favorite formulas of liquid lipsticks because they feel so natural on your lips. Sometimes when you wear a liquid lipstick and they dry down they can feel a little bit heavy or sticky. They feel like like really dry. They feel like they accentuate your lip lines. You can kind of feel them as you talk and when you rub your lips together they can almost stick together. These ones do not do that at all. They are almost like a dry version of your natural lips. I don't know how else to describe them but that. I don't find them overly drying. Some of the liquid lipsticks out there I do find a little bit more drying than others although all liquid lipsticks are relatively dry. These colored rain lipsticks are a little bit less dry than the others. They feel quite natural on the lips. I feel like they don't really accentuate any kind of lines that are on my lips already and they kind of just feel really natural. When you rub your lips together it almost just feels like nothing's there. They feel quite natural. They don't stick together and they feel really comfortable and they don't, they just don't feel really heavy or feel like there's really anything on your lips. So I'm a really big fan of these liquid lipsticks. I would probably say that they are one of my favorite liquid lipsticks and I would definitely consider to pick up more once they release more shades or if I was interested in any of the other shades. So to go over the colors that I have, the first one I have is called Marshmallow. It is a beige gray color. It's a little bit lighter than the next one I have. It is very reminiscent of that Lime Crime Cashmere color that is really popular. Popular. It is really dark when you apply it, so something like my skin tone, someone who is a little bit more fair, it is still quite dark, but it's a really nice gray beige color. The next one I have is called Soul. Soul is way more gray than Marshmallow. Marshmallow has that beige undertone where Soul, it looks like just a straight up gray beige color, and Soul has a lot more gray undertones. The next one I have is Suede. Suede is almost like a poop brown color, if I can describe it in any other way I would but it pretty much just looks brown. For someone like my skin tone the the awkward brown or kind of gross brown definitely comes out. I think that it would be a really nice color to mix with other colors or to layer with other lip liners or other liquid lipsticks but it is relatively that mid-tone almost like green undertone of brown. And the next one I have which I think is my my favorite one just because I love nudes so much it's called Sugar. It's a relatively lighter nude color without being too almost like milky or too concealer lips. It still has relatively a nice color to it but it is quite nude. The next one I have is called 24-7. This is a newer color in their collection. It's more of like a latte color if that describes it at all. It's like a red undertone mauve color so it has that red or pink undertones but it is still quite mauve-y. Where the next one I have is called Mars and Mars is more mauve or more cool tone than 24-7. 24-7 definitely has that red or sort of like pink undertones compared to Mars. So overall, I'm really happy I picked up these Colored Rain liquid lipsticks. I think that they might be one of my favorite liquid lipsticks and I think that I, it will be a slow favorite of my entire collection of lipsticks. I think that they are just a really nice formula. They feel really natural on the lips. They're not overly drying compared to some other liquid lipsticks. They feel very comfortable. They're not sticky and they don't accentuate a lot of your fine lines. I mean, overall, they are going to be drying and they will accentuate some of your fine lines, but 
I feel like some of them can settle into more of your fine lines compared to others and I feel like the color rain definitely doesn't do that. Overall, I think that the longevity of these liquid lipsticks is very similar to all the other liquid lipsticks out there. Unless you're eating something oily or something that's super greasy, these should last almost all day off the first application. I find that when I eat, if I'm eating anything that's getting on my lipstick or anything that's overly oily like pizza or if you're going to be eating a salad with oily dressing, it will come off around your lip line but you can always reapply or sort of what I do is I will take the whole thing off when I'm going to be eating just because I find it easier to reapply the whole thing than just to touch up certain spots. But generally, the longevity of these is really great. I feel like when you're talking or when you're interacting with people or even just throughout your day, they will last just as long as other liquid lipsticks. And I think that's a huge draw to the trendiness of all these liquid lipsticks right now. To remove these, I will use the Sephora Ultimate Oil and Gel Lipstick Remover, which you can get at Sephora. It is being discontinued. I think that they should still have some in their sales section, but if not, you can use sort of any kind of oil to remove it. I feel like sometimes when you apply a little bit, a layer of chapstick on top of it and let it sit for a minute and then wipe it away it also helps but generally these liquid lipsticks are a little bit harder to remove especially if you just have a tissue but adding any kind of oil or sort of greasy substance to them definitely makes them break up a little bit faster and it's a little bit easier to remove the only thing that I would keep in mind is the packaging of these liquid lipsticks they are a really nice packaging they remind me of something like every other liquid lipstick out there something similar to the ColourPop or the Anastasia liquid lipstick the only thing is sometimes there can be a little bit of like an oily substance leak out of the cap and I'm not sure if it's just the liquid lipstick nature but it is a little bit messy or it can be but you can easily clean it up with a tissue you just have to keep that in mind if you're going to be carrying these with you and reapplying throughout the day because they can make your purse a little bit messy not all of them had that oil leak out of it so it might be specific to certain shades but I would just keep that in mind when you are purchasing them and transporting them I hope you all enjoyed this review of the Color Rain liquid lipsticks. If you are interested to see more reviews on liquid lipsticks, definitely let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe because I definitely will have lots of more videos coming up for you guys. And thanks so much for watching and stay tuned.